following is a statement from the Integrity Commission in Grenada in the matter of Earl J. Maitland. I am Robert Robinson, Deputy Chairman of the Integrity Commission of Grenada and Chairman of the Subcommittee appointed to deal with a complaint from Earl J. Maitland. Mr. Maitland met with staff of the Integrity Commission in November 2017 and his complaint was referred to the subcommittee appointed to deal with the matter. In a meeting with the subcommittee which lasted two and a half hours, he outlined grievances against several public officials. He was instructed to document his grievances, which he did, and filed with the Integrity Commission as a complaint. The Integrity Commission is bound by law as outlined in the Integrity in Public Life Act, Section 42, subsections 1 and 2, to deal with complaints in a particular manner. And Mr. Maitland was told in correspondence from the Commission on 20th April 2018 that he needed to provide the following documents that would give the Commission the evidence it needed to proceed to investigate his complaint. The documents respected, requested were, one, the date that his dismissal letter was filed in the High Court, along with the date the judgment was pronounced and a copy of the judgment. Two, the exact section of the Code of Conduct in the Integrity in Public Life Act the Grenada Employment Act and the Ombudsman Act, which he alleged were violated by the Labour Commissioner, the Minister of Labour, the Ombudsman, Mr. Nicholas Steele, and the Attorney General. Three, a copy of the letter dated 31st January 2018, which he says the Ombudsman wrote to him and which he anal analyzes on page 6 of his 13-page letter to the Commission. To date, the Commission has not received these documents from Mr. Maitland. He proceeded to, to provide the entire Code of Conduct, but the Commission cannot decide for Mr. Maitland which section or sections he believes were breached. There have been 13 pieces of correspondence, email and hard copies, between Mr. Maitland and the Commission since registering his grievances in November 2017. The Integrity Commission has not reneged on our responsibility to Mr. Maitland, but we are waiting for him to provide us with the documents so we can proceed to address his complaint. The Integrity Commission cannot act on word of mouth only. It must have the supporting documents to investigate a complaint. Mr. Maitland has also demanded some actions from the Integrity Commission that legally we cannot take, but we stand ready to act within the law and investigate his complaints as soon as he provides the documents we requested in our letter of 20th April 2018. I want to repeat, the Integrity Commission has not reneged on its responsibility to Mr. Maitland, and as soon as he provides the required documents, we will do what it is by law mandated to do when complaints are filed. Thank you very much. The proceeding was a statement from the Integrity Commission in Grenada in the matter of Earl J. Maitland.